hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is gonna be about who is deeply in love with you okay so pound number one you're going to be the red dog figurine pile number two you're going to be the yellow dog figurine and pile number three you're going to be the blue bear figurine So again, pile number one, red dog figurine. Pile number two, yellow dog figurine. And pile number three, blue bear figurine. okay so pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the figurine that you feel most drawn to you'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and i'll see you guys at your pile hi pal one welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number one you picked the red dog figurine and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous file or previous readings okay so my pal number one who is deeply in love with you? Who is deeply in love with you, my pal number one? We have the magician. So this person could be a Gemini or a Virgo. I'm getting like this person because when I was um, fixing the piles and I was fixing the cards, I gather this person could be a little bit manipulative with their words. They're very charming. They're eloquent in their speech. They know exactly what to say. This person could be a public speaker. Um, they could also be a, I don't know why I just heard fashion designer, but this person could be in the public eye. I'm getting like communication, okay? So who is madly, oh, this person is madly in love with you, but want to say deeply we have the page of cups this person could be younger than you i feel like you guys may have had some sort of argument because i feel like i'm getting like they want to apologize to you they front a lot yeah knight of wands i'm telling you this is always getting like manipulative with their words they come off as a player we have the four of wands this person believes that you guys are soulmates but this person has player tendencies. They get a lot of attention, I feel like because of their position in life or like their status. This person could be a socialite, so they mingle with celebrities or they like, I'm getting like this person could um, be a producer. Like they work in the background, so they work with celebrities, but they work in the background. So they're, they're not, they're in the public eye, but it's more like, um, you know like a songwriter a producer um a photographer they're not really always in front of the camera they're mostly behind the camera but they call the shots okay they're like i'm getting like big boss but this person is very cocky and i'm getting like with their player tendencies um this person has a way about them to get what they want that's why i'm getting like with the magician manipulative with their words you guys may have had like some sort of argument or fallout 
this person with the um, Knight of Cups, they want to ask you out on a date. This person likes you and like not only like your personality, this is why they are deeply in love with you is because you're not like the other women that fall for them or the other men that fall for this person. Like they have people eating at the palm of their hands, but they don't, they can't do that with you. Like this person uses their status to get what they want from other people. This is why I was saying manipulative with their words. They tell people what they want to hear to get what they want, especially with the Knight of Wands energy. This is player energy. This person may have a lot of options when it comes to love. Yeah, this person is secretive with the moon card i feel like um like you know who this person is but i feel like you guys are not talking anymore because we have the ace of cups yeah this person is deeply in love with you with the ace of cups um they've never been rejected the way that you rejected them you may have caught them on a date with someone else or even in bed with someone else or something like that like i'm really getting like something wild like that okay and this person tried to tell you that what you saw was not it or it's not what you think. Like, boy, bye. I saw you in with someone else and you're going to tell me that's not what I think. Like, this is what I'm getting here. This person really thinks that their little manipulative ways is going to work with you. Yeah, this person has some sort of commitment issue. They could be a Gemini. Okay, this is the lovers. But look at this card, this deck. The woman is holding on to the man and the man seems like he wants to like run away, like commitment issues, okay? This is what I'm getting here. This person may have like some sort of commitment issues or they're afraid of commitment. They're afraid of being with one person, but they have fallen for you deeply. I feel like at one point in time, this was like um, the energy between the two of you. Doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man. I'm getting like this person, whenever you were trying to get close to them, they were running away, but now it's the opposite. Now you're the one running and they're trying to chase you, okay? They want to come back. Yeah, this person with the seven of wands, you may have blocked them on social media. But yeah, with the ace of cups, they're deeply in love with you. This person could be selfish with the four of pentacles, stingy, penny pincher. They could be very cheap. Yeah, because stingy and cheap is like similar. Okay. The synonym. Okay. I'm really getting like this person stingy. Okay. Yeah, we have the chariot. Cancer energy. But you see with the chariot here and the magician, this person is really good at their craft. Whatever it is that this person does for a living, they are an expert. Okay. They are sought after, but when it comes to love relationship, this person is really, it's like, they're not good. Okay. They're, they have poor, um, communication skills when it comes to love. They, that's why they always manipulate. So who is deeply in love with you? Yeah. We have the six of wands. This person is extremely successful. They are abundant. They are in the public eye. Six of Wands, I'm really getting like somebody who is very popular in their community, very popular in their field. They're sought after. They're doing very well for themselves. They're extremely successful. Okay, yeah, we have the Nine of Cups. They live a life of uh, wish fulfillment. And I'm getting like, you are this person's wish fulfillment. This person is so used to people throwing themselves at them without any effort that this person was thinking it's going to be the same thing with you. And you show them something totally different. And they're, they were caught off guard by your um, behavior and the fact that you blocked them as well. They may have said something very offensive but maybe for them they didn't feel like it was offensive because they've said it to other people before and nobody checked them and you were the only person that told them no you're not gonna talk to me like that you're not gonna you know say these things to me and you think it's appropriate okay i feel like it's something that was inappropriate seven of swords like i said didn't i say you caught this person with someone else or you caught them on a date with someone else they lied to you they told you they were going to be somewhere and then you saw them somewhere else some of you may have even called this person and they told you, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm at this spot. And you're there watching them, telling you they're somewhere else while you're there catching and catching them in action. OK, so they could have been on a date with someone and they pick up the phone and told you, oh, yeah, I'm in the studio. OK, that's just an example. And this person is there on a date and you're seeing them on the date. This is what I'm getting here with the seven of swords. OK, so who is deeply in love with you? 
yeah we have the queen of swords this person is emotionally like um i just heard emotionally stunned or emotionally unavailable yeah we have the king of wands this person is like very handsome but they don't wear their heart on their sleeves it's really hard to get this person to talk about their feelings with the queen of swords here this person is just like they come off as very cold or detached emotionally but this person will never admit i'm getting like this is somebody who will never admit defeat or they will never admit that they are in love with someone they will play it off cool like um nonchalant this is the the energy i'm getting from this person they're nonchalant they don't they act like they don't care but this is the type of person that you know this person may, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting, this person may smoke blunts for some of you. Like this is the type that will smoke a blunt before they go to bed and like a shed a tear or two about like somebody that they let go. So I'm getting like with you, this is the energy I'm getting. We have the Ten of Wands. It is becoming a burden for this person to pretend like they don't care. Yeah, they feel left out in the cold. But they left you out in the cold initially thinking that you were going to run back, you see? The Queen of Wands, they know that you guys are definitely a match. King of Wands, Queen of Wands here. They find you very attractive, whether you are a woman or a man here. This person finds you very attractive. You guys, um, maybe both fire signs or air signs, okay? So I'm getting like this person, like you, you're like holding up a mirror to, for them to see their behavior. And I'm getting like, they don't really like the reflection that they're seeing okay like it's like they're having a reality check that they can't just do whatever they're doing to people however they want you see I'm telling you king of swords either you guys could be like like i said air sign or uh, fire sign don't have to be but you guys mirror each other like your personality like if this person acts nonchalant you're not acting nonchalant because you're trying to teach them a lesson you're like okay well if you don't want me then fine i'm gonna move on and this person that's their tactic though they act nonchalant so that way you can run back but it's not working with you so this is where this person is having a reality check yeah we have the three cups they had someone else or they had multiple people but they want to reconcile with you who's um deeply in love with you my pal number one who's deeply yeah, they feel like it's a missed opportunity, Four of Cups. They wish they hadn't played those games with you. If they could go back in time, they would and change. But it's just like, yeah, they have to swallow their pride. So who is deeply in love with you? Yeah, you see, magician again. So Gemini, Virgo, but Gemini heavy. So air sign okay don't have to be a gemini but we have gemini here three times and we have queen of swords and king of swords so this person could have gemini in their chart or gemini in mercury so who is yeah we have four swords yeah this person is resting on this connection resting on how they're going to move forward they definitely want to apologize you see the page of cups is here twice we have temperance sagittarius they want to reconcile with you they definitely do okay this person they're gonna want to reconcile with you but it's like as if they're not gonna want to say sorry they're just gonna want to come back in and just pick up where you guys left off and they will never admit to you that they're in love with you they're not gonna do that we have the empress here this person views you as the empress you see we have the knight of cups again like you know what i'm getting this person instead of apologizing they're just gonna take you out to a fancy dinner they're gonna buy you jewelries or they're gonna buy you a gift or something like that to apologize but you will never hear this person say oh i'm sorry for how i treated you i'm sorry for what i said to you they're not gonna do that this is what i'm getting from this person okay emotionally like i said earlier they're a stunt so this is somebody who's gonna be like yeah you know we'll i'll call you back again i'll you know i'll circle back i won't you know they're not that prideful to not do that but they're not gonna say sorry they're gonna show you another way that they're apologizing but you're not gonna hear them say those words this is what i'm getting here okay 
So we're gonna be using the Astro Dice to get a little bit of um, information on this person and also we're gonna be using the Charmies and the initials, okay? So the Astro Dice is um, either your sign or this person's sign. The Charmies is how they feel and initials could be like just your initials or this person's initials, okay? Who's deeply in love with you? Who's deeply in love with you? This person is giving me masculine energy. Don't have to be a man. It could be a woman too who operates in her masculine energy. And she, like, yeah, she's not willing to say sorry. Like, if it's like a woman, she'll cook for you, do all of that for you. But she's not going to say, oh, I'm sorry for what I did. We have Aquarius, second house. So that's Taurus energy. And this is... Um, no, that's not Pluto. Hold on. Uh, no, this is... Okay, this is Neptune. Okay. I just have to always check the other ones to remember. I always get confused with Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus. Um, okay, so... Who is deeply in love with you? Oh, okay. So you see, I put this back, the lips, and it came out again. So this person definitely wants to kiss you. We have, they love your lips. We have M, K, O, G, L, S. Guys, we have love here. The word love. I'm telling you, this person will never admit those feelings. They're not going to tell you, okay? They're more show than tell. This person feels like you're so angelic. You're different from what they're used to. This person, I feel like they're used to the fast life. Uh, kiss, yeah, this person wants to kiss you. They love your lips. Maybe you wear, if you are a woman here, maybe you wear red lipsticks and this person really loves that. They feel like you're just different. You have ignited something within them to transform with the butterfly. They feel like you're delicate, like a flower, beautiful. Okay, and they think a lot about you at night. Like I said, this person, if they smoke, I'm really gonna like smoking a blunt, they smoke a blunt at night and think about you. They even watch you on social media. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot by Kachu Agia with another video. So, my pal number two, you picked the yellow dog figurine, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two. Who is deeply in love with you? Who is deeply in love with you, my pal number two? What do we have for you here? We have nine of pentacles. Okay, this is eligible bachelor, bachelorette energy. This is somebody who is self-sufficient, somebody who is a business owner. They could also be a freelancer, but this is somebody who makes money um, on their own. Like they don't have a, a boss, okay? This is somebody who is independent. I'm also getting like independent contractor as well, okay? Getting like freelancer vibe, okay? Or business owner. They could be a Virgo or you could be the Virgo here. But this person has had their eyes on you for a minute. And you guys are in communication. So who is deeply in love with you? 
who is deeply in love with you and you know what i was getting uh before because I, I always get channel message before i start the reading for each piles and this person is very good looking because i kept on hearing the word pushon pushon and that's a um haitian creole it means like handsome boy you know like a uh, pretty boy pushon and pretty girl pushon so this person is very attractive we have the queen of swords um this person could be very intelligent as well i'm getting like they could be a scholar they may have graduated with honors this is what i'm getting here with the queen of swords they could have air in their chart and i'm i'm hearing frais so that means they dress really nicely this person may travel for work they could be at a distance from you um it could also be like this person has a social media platform or yeah i'm gonna like this person has um some sort of presence online presence yeah we have the queen of pentacles yeah this person dressed really nicely they smell good yeah i don't know why i heard like you could smell this person's cologne from a mile away <laughs> that means they spray a lot of cologne or perfume on okay this is somebody who really takes good care of their hygiene Ooh, some of you could be somebody from your past six of cups i'm not getting like this is an ex it's just somebody from your past somebody that you know uh from maybe high school elementary oh guys ace of cups i'm telling you elementary um junior high some of you or college or university but this is somebody that maybe back then they um it's not like they lacked any style or anything like that but maybe this person back then they were just mostly focused on school and they didn't really it's not that they didn't care about their appearance but they weren't you know putting a lot of effort in their appearance but now that they're older they're more mature you know they're they're going into their personality and who they are and they're finding themselves like this person now takes really good care of themselves i feel like this person is also established ace of pentacles nine of pentacles i'm also getting an energy of this person um being uh tech uh like their engineer yeah like it or something like maybe this person is, is a software engineer this is what i'm getting here so they create softwares for big companies whether it's a woman or a man i'm getting like this person is into software engineer so this person is like they make really good money okay like you know 100k and up i'm getting that's the energy i'm getting from this person yeah they're extremely creative you see we have three aces in a row guys this is somebody who is very um intelligent with the queen of swords okay this is somebody who may have created some sort of app um i'm also getting like uh, yeah i'm really getting like software engineer type of energy for this person and a lot of software engineers they could be independent contractors because they could be just hired by the company to create a software for them but not being directly an employer an employee for this employer okay this is what i'm getting here but this person created something with the ace of wands so who is some of you oh guys two cups yes now this person wants to be in a relationship with you and i said that earlier this person always had their eyes on you i feel like maybe when they were younger they were probably intimidated or scared to ask you out um maybe you guys are not even in the same social group i feel like this person like their parents were probably like very strict on them like go to school study and you know get good grades you know you don't have time to, to socialize so maybe this person like they they may have missed out on you know like um teenage stuff okay like you know uh those little high school parties or like house parties and stuff like that this person never experienced that because their parents were kind of strict on them when it came to school so you may have re never really had the chance to interact with this person much and maybe they were like kind of like socially awkward because they maybe didn't have a lot of friends or the parents like you know they were restricted them to just school so i feel like that's why this person is really good at you know maybe they had like a very tight after school curriculum okay so they had to go to school but then once they're done school they have to go to you know uh karate practice and then they have like you know some other practice so they were always busy so they never had the chance to really interact with kids their age this is what i'm getting here 
but now that they're older they have more free time um i feel like this person is extremely disciplined they may even have a military background because i'm getting like somebody who is has a strict routine and they do not break their routine for anything or anyone okay yeah this is somebody who's established maybe they come from a wealthy family too um i'm also getting like i don't know why i'm getting diplomat maybe their dad or mom was a diplomat okay so who is deeply in love with you yeah we have the eight of pentacles a lot of pentacles okay earth grounded individual we have queen of pentacles nine of pentacles eight of pentacles ten of pentacles ace of pentacles guys this person is when it comes to um tangible wealth this person is really good like they're really good at managing money okay this is what i'm getting here yeah we have way too many cards that came out so who is deeply in love with you like i said this is not an ex this is somebody that you know from high school okay we have the lovers gemini energy this person could have gemini in their chart don't have to be but we do have the queen of swords but this person you see with this card this lover gives me an energy of commitment issues or abandonment issues this person may have like i said socially awkward they may have like you know they when they were younger though not anymore i'm getting like now they're more in touch with their emotions but you see nine of pentacles again this is somebody who's very established like i'm getting the vibe that when you see this person again you won't even recognize them wow the six of wands was in this deck so they're definitely successful but i'm getting like you won't even recognize them anymore because they look so different yeah ten of pentacles they are abundant they have like a successful business this person may have moved away from you for a while because if they are like if their parents were a diplomatic a diplomatic was diplomat um they may have moved around okay but we have the eight of wands so this is somebody who travels for work so who is madly in love with you this person was always in love with you from the beginning we have the nine of cups yeah they see you as wish fulfillment and we have the king of pentacles this person i'm telling you they are financially stable they are abundant they're reliable they're trustworthy too okay they always um they may have not kept in touch with you but they may have kept in touch with people that know you so they always had like their 411 on you we have the high priestess yeah this person's highly intuitive but they have been like watching you for a long time i feel like they want to come back and you know try with you or like come towards you and express their their affections towards you yeah see I'm telling you this person was was watching you page of swords so who is deeply in love with you guys ace of cups again that's the second time i'm telling you this person deeply we have the uh justice libra energy some of you this person could be a lawyer okay i don't know why i heard lobbyist okay so who is deeply in love with you yeah king of wands now this person is more confident in themselves more confident in their abilities that's why i'm getting like somebody who was socially awkward when they were younger because they never really had the time or the chance to interact with other children like them because their parents were like very strict when it comes to school when it comes to uh learning okay like they were always like um learning 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 and no fun that's the energy i'm getting from this person Okay, yeah they're very charming romantic okay okay so who is deeply in love with you who is deeply in love with you yeah we have the lovers gemini energy again so this person could have gemini in their chart or you could have gemini in your chart who is deeply Ooh, we have the star aquarius energy this person could be in the spotlight 
or they could just be very popular now because I'm feeling like before they were not okay that's what I'm gonna like if you see this person again you're not going to recognize them but they will recognize you they've changed completely their look everything it's like when you look at their childhood pictures and you look at them now you're like wow this person grew up to be you know very handsome okay or beautiful here with the star they're original in their sense of fashion they definitely stand out okay so who is who is the, what do we have here we have the page of cups the page of cups came out but i put it back in the deck and now it came out again we have temperance yeah, this person is sensitive i'm getting yeah they're watching you like a hawk they've been watching you for a long time they're sensitive though this is somebody who's extremely like emotional like this is what i'm getting like this person really when they were children or younger they could have been bullied in high school as well this is what i'm getting here so this person takes really a pride in their look now maybe they were bullied for how they dressed okay wow guys yeah this person could be caribbean because i just heard jess come this is not a nice word okay it's a caribbean well creole um haitian creole word jess come is like somebody who they don't dress really nice they don't really have a really nice sense of fashion okay and this is what i'm getting here like maybe they were teased okay like like probably not the word just come that they were heard they heard but this is like a word i heard now so they may have um they could be haitian as well or you could be haitian but this person was teased for how they dressed okay and that's when i feel like now if you see this person you're not going to um recognize them so we're going to be using the charmies um initials and astrodice to find out a little bit more about this person so the charmies could be uh, is how they feel about you astrodice could be your sign or this person's sign and then initials could uh, your initials or this person's initials okay So, who is deeply in love with you? Okay, so we have Uranus, uh, Leo, ninth house. Okay, that's Sagittarius' house. So, fire and Uranus, okay? Uranus is uh, um, Aquarius' is, uh, one, one of those ruling planets. So it may have Aquarius as well in their chart, but they could just have Uranus, um, Leo and Uranus, or Leo in ninth house. So we have H, J, R, E, N, S. Well, we have triple S here. J again and K the candy fell this looks like a lollipop so I'm really getting like childhood memories the flamingo this person is definitely unique they are romantic they want to take you out on a date okay they probably will bring you roses and if it's a, a woman she likes roses okay um, we have a heart. Like I said, this person is deeply in love with you. This is giving me red uh, wedding band. This person wants to, they, they're looking for marriage. This is somebody who wants to establish a family with you. They're extremely wise. Okay. Yeah. We have the crown. This person feels like you are a queen or a king. They always viewed you in high regards. This person could be religious. Jewish, I'm getting, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like either Jewish or Muslim, or that could be you. And this person views you as very delicate, very soft, very beautiful, okay, with the flower. All right. So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pile number two bye hi pal three welcome to my channel this is Stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number three you picked the blue bear figurine and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, who is deeply in love with you? Who is deeply in love with you? I just heard sorrow. This person's sad. You may have rejected this person. Yeah, because I just heard sorrow. Yeah, sadness. Yeah, you see? Eight of Swords. Yeah, sadness. Anxiety now with the Eight of Swords. Uh, this person is in their feelings now about this rejection. Yeah, you definitely rejected this person. Wow, we have the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody who had you waiting. Yeah, they probably cheated on you or something like that. Wow, we have the Two Cups in reverse. Um, this connection is no longer what it used to be. This could be an X. We have the six of cups, but it's in reverse. So it's like, you're not really, you don't really have too fond of memories with this person. They cause you a lot of pain. Yeah, we have the page of pentacles. They breadcrumbed you. Yeah, this is giving me an X vibe that's like returning. An X that feels some type of way about you leaving. They have taken their time. I'm really gonna like with the two cups in reverse. Um, at one point in time, this person did not reciprocate whenever you were pouring your heart out to this person, you were trying to show them love, you're trying to be there for them, this person played you or this person acted like they didn't care or they thought that you were always gonna be there. I feel like mistreatment, okay? They had you waiting. Maybe some of you have been seven years with this person, yeah. Five of Wands, conflict. They may have had you in competition with other people for their attention, for their affection or this relationship was extremely challenging. There was a lot of ups and downs. This person was inconsiderate. Now they're crying. Yeah, we have the emperor. This person could have been like very um, um, overbearing, okay, um, controlling. Yeah, we have the two of wands. Um, this person also may have lacked direction or foresight. They may have thought that you were always gonna be there. This person, I feel like with the Emperor, they could be um, distorted masculine because I'm getting like, even though the Emperor is upright, I'm getting like um, tyrant energy from this person, like my way or the highway, or it's like um, you do as I say, like a bully, okay? This is what I'm getting here. This person may have bullied you in this connection. This is really giving me an ex, an ex coming back, feeling some type of way because they've lost you, because they no longer have access to you and you moved on and you're doing well and this person is in their, I'm really gonna like somebody in their feelings crying over you with the eight of swords, can't sleep at night. Some of you like you have, you were with this person for seven years and you know, like you wanted to get married and this person was acting like you were not good enough for a ring or you were not good enough to commit to or that you had to wait. Like, I feel like this person wanted you to wait 10 years for them or wait till they feel like they're ready or like always, there was always an excuse as to why they don't wanna get married. Some of you, you may have been engaged, but they kept on pushing the uh, wedding date. Every year it's like, oh, I'm not ready. Let's push it, like we need to save up more money um, for the wedding. But then I'm getting also somebody who's saying that to you, but then they don't make any effort to save the money. Like you would see them go on a trips, go on trips with their friends or like buy new things, buy expensive stuff that, you know, thousands of dollars, but that, that money could have went to the wedding. 
some of you even suggested to just go to uh, the courthouse to get married and this person refused okay so it's like there was always some sort of issue as to why they didn't want to get married yeah this person is having a tower moment now like they realize that they've lost you for good so who is deeply in love with you guys i cannot make it up nine of swords they're in <laughs> look at this person nine of swords guys they look so depressed oh my god now this person is looking depressed like so sad but it's like i'm getting this person was selfish though that's why i don't feel no type of way about that because it's like you were the one who was acting like you didn't care probably cheated with the two cups more than once okay we have the sun card this person may act like you know in public with the sun like everything's okay like they're doing good that they don't care if you're gone that you know they don't like you know you they're unbothered this is the energy that i'm getting but when they go behind closed door this person's crying we have the three of wands like you know what i'm getting for some of you during the seven years that you guys were together it was always on and off it was never like complete seven years so you know like you guys would uh they will be together for like a year or two and then break off for three months and then this person wants like when you guys break off it's like it's it's an opportunity for them to go and have like you know multiple partners you know sleep around and then come back and then like they they go and look for to see if they can find someone better and then when they don't they come back to you and then you guys stay together and they pretend like oh i'm sorry i'm gonna change and then another seven months and then again you guys break up again for three months and then like it adds up to seven years but it's never a full seven years like on and off on and off on and off like a it's really like that connection was really draining so it took you a long time to to let go of this person for swords yeah you put it to rest because this person was draining and i'm that's the energy i'm getting from them like this is why i don't have no pity for them because they they knew exactly what they're doing okay they this is not like yeah four swords you had enough and ever since you left this person now you're doing good you're doing much better you're you're in a much better headspace because this person had you they were like playing with you like a yo-yo up and down up and down if you guys know yo-yo like you you throw it down and then you put it you pull it back up throw it down and pull it back up this is what this person was doing with you this is what i'm getting here and now they're in their feelings because they can't do it anymore yeah you you moved away okay and now they're experiencing karma with justice you did the right thing for removing yourself from this person because they never took you serious the longer you stayed with this person the more they thought that they could play with you who is deeply in love with you now they're in their feelings like oh my god pal number three i'm so sorry like boy bye yeah like judgment they're experiencing karma okay now they want to be with you two cups they want to make this work who is deeply in love with you because i'm feeling like but it's a challenge five of wands the five of wands is here twice it's a challenge because it's like you're finally in your power you're finally more confident in yourself you're like you're more in um in a much better headspace where this person can no longer manipulate you so it's not uh this position how you guys are right now is not favorable for them okay this person is not really liking it yeah we have the nine of swords i'm telling you now they're being haunted by their thoughts their actions their thoughts like they can't sleep at night because they keep thinking about what they did to you how they treated you for a long period of time some of you doesn't have to be seven years some of you could be longer but it's i'm getting like a long period of time and maybe you guys met when you were teenagers or in um college like early 20s and maybe like you stayed with this person until your 30s or something like that or even some of you 40s and you're like i i'm done and this is what i'm getting and now this person feels some type of way because now they like they thought that because they did this to you that they could do it to other people but this person did not realize like how much you really care for them and you really wanted this connection to work some of you it's like um your first like the only person that you've been with intimate with 
so you stay with this person like you know th that was your first experience at love and everything so you stay with this person in a long time because you didn't know any better that was just an experience and now you're out of it and you're finding your self-worth you're like you're you know you're finding yourself again so this person they actually thought that they were gonna keep you in that headspace some of you this person is um oh okay i'm not gonna say that word but this person took advantage of you because you were young and you were naive okay this person could have been like much older than you like a big difference a big gap okay but i just heard a word but i'm not gonna say it yeah this person's player that's why I didn't feel no type of way when I saw the nine of swords, that person on the card, because I'm getting like, this is how this person looks now. Like so depressed, so um, like sad in their feelings, but they didn't care when they were doing it to you. They didn't care when you were sad, when you were crying over them. They didn't care. They, that, they felt like I'm getting the type of energy. This is why I don't really like this person's energy they're like the type of person that whenever they see you cry whenever they see you sad or whenever they would see you upset like react they get a kick out of it i don't like that energy yeah this person king of swords they could be an air sign don't have to be but this person is extremely calculative in their behavior everything they do is for a reason there, there is never nothing without a coincidence. They're consciously, they do things to irritate you, to provoke you, to get a rise out of you. I'm telling you, I don't really like this person's energy. If they're suffering, then that's their karma because we do have judgment here and justice. So you leaving this person was the best thing that you could ever did for you, okay? And that's why this person is in their feelings and now they're they're deeply in love but i feel like their love is distorted and like their sorry their definition of love is not the same as you so who is deeply yeah this person lacks direction with the chariot in reverse who is deeply in love with you we have leo with the strength card yeah, this person is contemplating whether or not they should come towards you. Who is deeply in love with you? Yeah, this person. Yeah. Who is deeply in love with you? Yeah, five of swords. I'm telling you six of, six of wands, but it's in reverse. Five of swords. This is somebody who is angry, vendetta, bitter. Like bad mind energy, okay? They want to win at all costs. This person, if they come back, because I feel like they will, yeah, three swords. Rejected. They feel rejected. They feel like their ego is bruised. And this is somebody, I'm getting like, I'm tiring. This person's gonna wanna come back and fight. Like they want, like, they want to overpower you. They want to be back on top. That's how they felt like a man or a woman okay they felt like good when you were like i feel like this person wants to be wants you to be submissive to them but in an unhealthy way it's like they don't really care about how their action affects you as long as they have control over you so this is the reason why i don't really like this person's energy out of the two three piles this person's energy is like the one that's off even their love, like, even though they have deep love for you, their love is toxic. Like, their definition of love is toxic. It's like turning into an unhealthy obsession. Okay? This is why I'm not really liking this person's energy. Okay? So, we're going to be using the Astrodice initials and Charmies to get a little bit more information on this person. But pile number three, you did the right thing to leave this person. Like, they're not worth your while. And they haven't changed. I'm not getting an energy that this person has changed. They're still in that uh, toxic energy. Okay, so who is deeply in love with you? And I feel like it's learned behavior. 
okay i feel like they come from a toxic family too toxic dynamic who is deeply in love with you we have aquarius um venus and third house okay so we have gemini energy as well and we have aquarius and we have um uh, Venus so this person could be very attractive too I feel like they use their looks to get what they want from people or they feel like only looks is important like they don't have to have a character okay, okay so wow we have L N K G this person knows you're protected the hand of Fatima and we also have a feather this is giving me protection they know this person may have tried to contact you but it's like spirit was intercepting was blocking them from reaching you this person could be a foreigner or they can live at a distance they could be um, they can live in France or you could be from France but yeah I'm getting like this person knows that you're a star that you're destined for greatness I feel like this person used to always bring you down about your endeavors yeah you see the heart is here I'm telling this person yeah they're deeply in love but it's like toxic it's, they don't know how to love like properly okay yeah they know that you're unique they know that you're different that they will never find another like you you're one of a kind they know that okay they know that you're a treasure all right so that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.